Hi guys, it's now actually Friday. Today is the day I'm going on the Polar Express. I still cannot believe it. I'm just about to <laughs> straighten my hair. I don't, I'm not going like too glamorous or anything, but I have washed it today. So it's kind of dried a bit crazy because that's what it does. And it goes very fluffy. Um, so I'm just straightening it to make it look kind of presentable. I don't know if I'm going to put any makeup on. Um, maybe a tiny bit just in case I want to take pictures but then I'm gonna be putting my pajamas on because of course I've got to go on in my pajamas they get picked up in the middle of the night and they're all in their pajamas on the Polar Express so of course we're all wearing our pajamas <laughs> and I'm really excited honestly I watched the film um, earlier because I hadn't watched it in such a long time and I was like I want to get in the mood and just you know re-watch it again it's been so long did you see me like go to straight my hair and completely miss then watched it and i cried because i love it so much it's such a good film and i just love christmas so much it's just so magical and i love christmas films and everything and it's nearly december so i'm so excited to get in the christmas spirit I just I'm really happy and I really cannot wait to get on this train I think it's gonna be amazing we've also got premium tickets and my mum booked premium tickets I don't know exactly what it entails because I know a lot of different railways do this um kind of experience the Polar Express experience um we're going to one in Telford um and I don't know what the perks are of getting premium I might google it in a minute and let you know but obviously I'll find out later as well but I'm very 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 excited our tickets are here I haven't shown you those I'll show you those later we've got our tickets and that actually of course the tickets that are the same in the film and hopefully they're gonna punch the holes in them like they do in the film and like give us all a different word or something or even if they just stamp our name and it or something I don't even care like I hope they do like the stampy thing I don't really know if they will but either way I think it's gonna be super magical I don't I really don't know what the, to expect like obviously I know what happened in the film but I don't know how much they're gonna do that's from the film like if they're gonna include like all the singing and stuff like in the film you know when they give out the hot chocolates if you've not watched it you'll have no idea but um in the film when they all get hot chocolates and they sing that little song and everything I don't know if it's gonna be like that or I have no idea what's gonna happen but I'm glad I didn't want it to be spoiled for me. I'm glad it's all going to be a complete surprise. And of course, I'm going to try and film some stuff um, if I can. And of course, let you know my thoughts afterwards and let you know if I would recommend. And I'm sure it's going to be amazing. Um, yeah, I'm so excited. I found out that it, you could do it last year and I'd seen a couple of people were doing it and I was so jealous, like so jealous. And then my mum booked it ages ago now i think we're leaving at about half five it's only like quarter past four now but i thought i'd just get myself kind of ready like just sort my hair out it takes about 50 minutes to get to the railway station we want to give ourselves plenty of time because it's not till like 20 to 8 i think it is it's about an hour long experience that's what i mean it's an hour long experience so what is that going to entail i have no idea but i'm excited i don't know i'm guessing surely they're gonna do the hot chocolate thing like even if we just get hot chocolate even if they don't sing the song i don't know i really don't know what to expect but i feel like i might actually cry because i was crying so much watching the film early and thinking oh my god i'm gonna be on this train later i'm actually gonna start crying i'm such i'm so lame honestly i love stuff like this i get emotional at things easily especially when it's christmasy i i just love it so it's gonna be so magical and it's something i've always wanted to try and like when i saw loads of people doing it last year i was really jealous and i was like i want to go on the polar express and now i am so i'm very excited and hopefully it's amazing and i'm sure it will be but yeah we're gonna put some pajamas on and my dressing gown um i've got really thick pajamas i'm gonna wear i think i was gonna wear christmasy pajamas but i don't really have like a lot of my like warmer pajamas are quite old so and i know it doesn't really matter that much but I think I'm gonna wear my really fluffy Lion King pajamas that I got for Christmas last year. Or my birthday, I think it was Christmas last year. Can't remember. But I'm gonna wear them. They're really thick and like fluffy, but then I'm also gonna wear a dressing gown as well. In the film, they're wearing their pajamas and their dressing gowns over the top, and I just wanna do that too. And oh my god, I feel like my childhood dreams are coming true. Honestly, I know this is just like a small thing, but I just this year has been like the year of dreams coming true, seriously. So guys, this is my OOTD. 
what do you think please excuse the mess in my room it's been a hectic week but this is my outfit <laughs> i wasn't kidding when i said i was going in my pajamas i am literally going full out also i've just seen all over my twitter feed about the horrible horrible news of what's happened in london today i'm not gonna go into detail about it you know what's happened it's pretty horrific and i just hope everybody's okay and scary so scary <laughs> <laughs> Santa Claus is home. During this ride, we'll embark on a journey of self-discovery, which shows us that the wonders of life never fades for those who truly believe. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! I'm gonna cry my eyes out. On Christmas Eve. Many years ago, I lay quietly in my bed. I did not rustle the sheets. I breathed slowly and silently. I was listening for a sound. All right, kids. Santa will be here soon. Let's get you off to bed. You know he told Sarah that Santa would have to fly faster than the speed of light to get to everyone's house in one night? He did? And he told her that to hold everyone's presence, his sleigh would have to be bigger than an ocean liner. He told his sister that? He must have been kidding her. He knows there is a Santa. Well, he told her that he wasn't sure. Santa not real? Of course he's real. He's as real as Christmas itself. Santa will be here before you know it. So go to sleep. He's got to be asleep by now. He used to stay awake all night waiting for Santa. I think those days are just about over. Oh, that would be sad if that were true. Yeah, an end of the magic. He's out like a light. Even an express train wouldn't wake him now.
she was crying. <laughs> well, are you coming? Where? Why to the North Pole, of course. This oh is the Polar Express. The, the conductor's there. He's there, look. He's there. I see. Pull this, please. Is he here, look? Oh, yeah. Where? Uh, huh? Is this you? Yeah. Well, it says here, no photo with Santa. <laughs> no letter to Santa. <laughs> you meant your sister put out the milk and cookies? Seems to me, my boy, that this could be your crucial year. If I were you, I would think very hard about climbing on board. Well, come on, come on, I've got a schedule to keep. Now, are there any other boys and girls out there that would like to go to the North Pole? Yeah! Come on now, are there any other boys and girls that would like to go to the North Pole? Well, all aboard then, all aboard the Polar Express! Everyone, please remain safely in their seats. It is, of course, a violation of railroad safety regulations. Genuine ticket to ride, huh? I'd keep hold of that if I was you. 
Yeah, I keep all my valuables right here in the old size 13. <laughs> Not that I need a ticket to ride. No, 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 no. I can ride this train any time that I like. I love the mustache, I'm very good, very good. <laughs> Let me ask all you the question. What's your persuasion on the big man? You know, Santa Claus. Are the things that we can't see. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let me ask all you a question. What you this could be your crucial year. Make sure you get my good side. <laughs> I was listening for a sound. A sound a friend had told me I'd never hear. The ringing bells of Santa's sleigh. White as snow. We drank hot cocoa as thick and rich as melted chocolate bars.
can't see him. We can't see him. I actually can't see him. Mom. Well, you lot seem excited. Yeah. Don't get out. So, when Santa comes down here, what are you going to ask him for Christmas? Oh, I haven't thought. I didn't think about what to ask him for. <laughs> oh, Jovi. <laughs> <laughs> what do I want? I what you want. Have you guys not written lists yet? I know, I haven't written my list. Oh no. I've got lists for the month. I know, I need We're to be quick. Time, no, I need to hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a competition. We'll see if we can get one. Who we got left? The real Santa wouldn't be tight. Come on, come on, we're going to make one. Come on, 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 did you know it's an offense to steal an official's head? <laughs> now, normally, I would have to throw you off this train and refute, re reject your ticket, but seeing that it is a very special night tonight, I'm going to look, overlook it this once, and only once. <laughs> 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 Thank you very much. And what's your name? Joseph. And Joseph, do you like snow? Yeah. Well, let me help you out with a little bit of snow here then, Joseph. Yeah. Joseph, do you have a seat to go with this ticket? Josh, have you got a ticket for me, Josh? Thank you very much. Now you're going to come back.
young people and you remember you feel it maybe you remember the sound of that there bell did you get a bell ah amazing sure seeing is believing but sometimes the most real things are the things that we can't see so ladies and gentlemen boys and girls the time has come for us to see to check do you remember earlier on in our journey, you was doubters, you was doubters and you couldn't hear the sound of the bell on top of my hat, huh? Well then, what do you hear now? Go on, raise your hand if you can hear the sound of the bell on top of my hat. Go on, raise your hand. Use it the back as well. What can you hear? Then raise your hands up. Wow. Would you look at that? That's a lot more than earlier on in our journey, huh? I wonder what happened. I wonder what happened. I know what happened. It's a magic carpet on a rail that never takes a rest. Flying through the mountains and the snow, you can ride for an hour and join the fun. But in the end, all you gotta do is say yes. Say yes. Yes! Yeah! Yeah! Cause that's the way things happen on the Polar Express. Thank you, thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to all you. So my name is Hobo. That's why one calls me anyway. Oh, yeah. Hey, Hobo. Hi, 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 do you ever need a picture for you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Ah! I'm getting targeted in here! He keeps throwing them at me! He keeps throwing them at me! 
Mum bought this blanket for £20, but I'd say it was a good purchase. How cute is that? And this bag. I love the picture on it. Guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. When I tell you that was the best experience of yeah didn't you literally just have it i haven't got it i haven't got it genuinely the best thing i've ever done honestly it was perfect please excuse my hair we got snowed on honestly the whole thing was incredible obviously got there had to my dad dropped us off and then we had to get a bus to the actual station where the Polar Express was and we got there and while we were like waiting there was loads of different like food stands and like they were selling some of like the merch and stuff so we got a bit of food there so we were there for a little bit while we were waiting and then we got to go down to the platform and I knew we'd get to see the train arrive which I thought was exciting enough anyway and then all of a sudden there was like this whole announcement and all these lights went down and they played like the first tiny bit of the film like kind of the introduction and then there was all these different lights going on and then a snow machine and then the music and the train arrived it was honestly so much better than i thought it could be like obviously i had in my head like imagine if they did this imagine if it was like this good like i knew i was gonna love it but i just didn't realize how much it they would include and how good it would be they did like all the songs on the train they had the conductor um, they had a little boy as an actor like they like, like recreate the f first bit where he's get, um telling him to get on the train or whatever and it was amazing it was honestly amazing and i've got <laughs> loads of stuff to show you because we had a premium ticket i don't know what the difference was for us and for standard tickets i know that premium got this mug that i'm about to show you uh but i don't know what the other stuff out of the other stuff what they would have got compared to us i don't really know we got given a free mug we got a hot chocolate as well um in these cute little cups you would have seen it in the vlog it was just like a normal like kind of style cup but they would decorated it to look like you know the polar express um and it was really cool um and we've kept those as well <laughs> uh just because we had to and we got a cookie and and they brought out the hot chocolate singing the song and like didn't it, it was it was literally perfect and then we actually got this free mug and i knew we were getting a free mug but i just thought it'd be like a standard kind of mug just with like the logo on it or like a picture on it but this is incredible it's like it looks like a really old-fashioned kind of classic christmas mug if that makes sense i'm gonna show you now sorry the lighting's not great i genuinely didn't know what to expect i'm so glad i didn't know what to expect because i loved that it was all a surprise and as you saw i cried <laughs> of course i did um, and i will include some pictures i don't know if i'll have already included them or if i'll have put them at the end you'll, you'll see the pictures but look at this mug it's like proper classic christmas can you see it's got um it's just like the artwork it looks like really old-fashioned and i love that and then here's the front oh my god this is the most beautiful mug i own and i'm so excited because over the whole of christmas i'm going to be using this mug for my hot chocolate watching christmas films with some whipped cream in this is going to be the go-to mug and it is my favorite mug i've ever owned how incredible is that it was like being in the film like i can't even explain to you just how amazing it was it's one of those things you just need to do for yourself to me i would pay that again to do it again i know if i did do it again next year i'd st i'd still love it obviously but i feel like there's nothing like experiencing it for the first time with like 
not knowing what to expect and it all being such a big surprise because that was incredible um but yeah that was one of the freebies we got also when santa came round if you've not watched the film some of these things might not make sense but we got a bell and it actually says the polar express on it you're really not gonna be able to see it but along here it says the polar express and it's on this cute little tie here and it's a really nice bell and that sounds really random but it's like not a really crappy cheap one like it's a really good quality one it makes a really nice sound if we didn't get one of those free i probably would have brought one anyway but they came around and gave us all one and again i don't know if like standard tickets got that i would assume so because i feel like that's like part of the house i don't know maybe that's why the experience was so perfect for us is because we got a couple of extra things as premium guests and then of course i think i showed you these tickets and you've seen it in the vlog as well but the conductor came around and stamped it for us like just in the film and i can't go also the guy who was the conductor amazing everyone on there was amazing like unbelievable um and then i did end up buying a key ring because i was trying to find a pin because you probably know if you watch me that i collect pins and they do have some because my mum asked um but the people working there couldn't find them like they looked where they usually are but there weren't any left so i was a bit gutted about that um but i did get i was just gonna leave it and i was like i don't need a key ring because i saw another key ring that was like a tenner and i was like i don't really need a key ring i probably because if i bought one from here i wouldn't want to use it i just want to keep it as a little keepsake because i've got a couple of key rings that i have that i don't actually use on my keys because i don't want to ruin them and this is going to be one of those i think but this was eight pounds and i actually prefer this one here it is oh it's obviously the ticket god this is such a classic youtube thing to do I don't know if you can see it on camera, but obviously it's got stamped out where it says believe, like from the film as well. Hopefully you can see that, but I just, I just loved it. And because I couldn't get a pin, I was like, you know what, I'm going to get that. And I really like it. And I don't care that I spent £8 on it because to me it was worth it. But yeah, that's like basically everything we got. Obviously there's that little cup we got a hot chocolate in as well, which was the best hot chocolate I've ever had as well. Um... And then obviously I showed you my mum got that blanket and another thing we got free was that bag that I vlogged for you a minute ago as well, that little um, bag. It's kind of like one of those reusable shopping bag type things. It's like that style of material, whatever, just like a little one. Um, so yeah, we got loads and just the experience in general, as you've seen, I vlogged so much of it. I, I was worried that like if I was vlogging, I wasn't going to be like fully enjoying it, but I kind of just had my camera and I was still like watching I kind of just held it next to me and I was still like enjoying the whole thing so I'm so glad I got so much of it on camera like I filmed almost all of it in the end so that is why this is its own video this was meant to be going in my weekly vlog but it needs to have its own video I've decided because I knew I'd want to talk a lot about it as well and I just thought for the this being like one of the like one of the best if not the best thing I've ever done I had to have it have it have its own video um so i don't even know if the other vlog will go up now because it's quite boring but <laughs> maybe it will because i'm going to see frozen but then i'll probably do a frozen 2 review anyway so who knows but yeah i went on the polar express today and it was incredible so it was in telford i, I know quite a few railway places do it but i went to the one in telford and I would 100% recommend if you ever get the chance to do it please go for it I'm sorry there was a lot of spoilers in this yeah I'm glad I didn't know anything about it I'm glad it was a surprise for me but in case you don't get the chance to go along or you're just interested to see what happened then I hope you enjoyed this vlog and if you did give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already the next vlog I start it will be the 1st of December which means vlogmas I can't believe it vlogmas is really really fastly approaching it's just the best time of year tonight just reminded me just how much i love christmas and i feel like i'm gonna cry if i talk about it too much but i just christmas is just so magical and that just nothing compares to it and tonight just proved that for me like it was the genuinely the most magical thing i've ever done and it was it was amazing like please if you get the chance do it it's so worth the money it's not even that expensive in my opinion. I would 100% do it again. I would do it again tomorrow if I could. Genuinely the best thing ever. Anyway, I'll see you soon. Bye.
Bye, Stay Emma!